serve his holy name. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Jeremiah chapter 1 verse 7 to 8 says, But the Lord said to me, Do not say I am a youth, for you shall go to all to whom I send you, and whatever I command you, you shall speak. Do not be afraid for their faces, for I am with you to deliver you, says the Lord. I want us to pray this morning that Father, say Father, have mercy, O Lord. Let your mercy prevail over our youth, over your church, O Lord. Let your mercy prevail in the name of Jesus. Ancient of the let your mercy prevail. Let your mercy speak for our youth, O Lord. Let your mercy advocate for them in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Say, let us pray for our youth that they will be more involved in ministry. They will be, they will be, they will be, they will be the representative of Jesus Christ. Let's say, Father, let our you be more involved in the ministry work. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus. Let them get more involved, Lord. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Father, let them get more involved, Lord. In the ministry work, Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Let us also pray for our youth to remain steadfast in their dealings with God. Before we pray this prayer, I want us to sing this worship song. Steadfast love for the long life of season is mercy's name Welcome to the end. They are new every morning. New every morning. Great is our faithfulness. Oh, great is our faithfulness. Say, Father, let our youth, let them remain steadfast in their dealings with you, O Lord. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, let them remain steadfast, O Lord, in dealings with you. In the name of Jesus, in Jesus' mighty name we pray. Let us pray that our youth, that they, they will serve God before it's too late. Let's say, Father, Father, let our youth serve you before it gets too late, oh Lord. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, every spirit of procrastination, Father, remove it, oh Lord. Father, let them serve you, oh Lord, before it gets too late, oh Lord. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Our righteous Father, Lord, we thank you. There is no to be compared like you. Father, we cannot do anything without you. We put all our trust in you. We solely believe in you, O oh Lord. Father, let there be a miracle today. Let there be transformation of life today. Father, you send the youth, O oh Lord. They are the royal priesthood, O oh Lord. They are the peculiar people, O oh Lord. Father, mang up their strength, O oh Lord, like the eagles, O oh Lord. Father, empower us today, O oh Lord. Every word they are going to speak today We come from the throne of grace, O oh Lord. Father, let there be Holy Spirit transfiguration of power today, O oh Lord. Father, move in our midst, O oh Lord. Let there be salvation of souls. Let there be miracles. Let there be signs and wonders. Thank you, King of glory. Thank you, ancient of days, O oh Lord. We open the service in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray.
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Can we just lift our hands and worship God this morning? Father, we thank you. Ancient of days, we worship you. Hallelujah. Just lift your voices and give him praise. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. Lord, we thank you. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. We give you glory, Lord. We give you glory, Lord, as we honor you. lift your voices and give him glory we give you glory Lord as we honor you we give you glory Lord as we honor you you are wonderful you are Father, you are wonderful. You are worthy, oh Lord. You are wonderful. You are sing. You are wonderful. Wonderful. You are the Lord. Oh, Lord, you are wonderful. You are, you are wonderful. Father, you are. We lift you high, 
Church alone say, Kuluma. Kuluma, speak to me all. Kuluma. As we give God praise, hallelujah. Are there youths in the house this morning? If you are a youth in the house, come on, jump on your feet and shout, hallelujah. Come on, our oh, God is good all the time, hallelujah. Amen. I want to classify everybody in this house this morning as youth. So, if you are a youth in the house, I want you to dance, I want you to use the space. Tell your neighbor, give me space. Oh. Say, neighbor, give me space. Oh. Hallelujah. The loop, please. Omit the loop. Hallelujah. Amen. Can we do small exercise before we start? Then, 
My head, my shoulders, my knees, my toes. My head, my shoulders, my knees, my toes. My head, my shoulders, my knees, my toes. All belongs to G. My head, come on. My head, my shoulders, my knees, my toes. My head, my shoulders, my knees, my toes. My head, my shoulders, my knees, my toes. They all belong. I can see some people can't even bend down. Hallelujah. I mean, that hold. You can't even bend your back. If pastor is touching his toes, then everybody here should be able to touch their toes. Amen. Can we do it one more time? My head, my shoulders, my knees, my toes. My head, my shoulders, my knees, my toes. My head, my shoulders, my knees, my toes. It all belongs to you. Hallelujah. Amen. Let's sing, I will exalt you, Lord. For thou hast lifted me above my enemies. Your banner over me is love. I will exalt you, Daddy. For thou hast lifted me above my enemies. Your banner over me. Church, I will exalt you, Lord. Your banner over me. Yeah. One more time, sing. I will exalt you, Lord. I will exalt you, Lord. For thou hast lifted me above all my enemies. The banner of me is love. One more time, say. I will exalt you, Lord. For thou hast lifted me above my enemies. The banner of me. I will exalt you, Lord, for thou hast lifted me upon my enemies. Your banner over me is love. Forever I praise your only name, Lord. Father, you have lifted me. Oh, I'm on my enemies. Your banner over me. I will exalt you, Lord. For I was lifted me up on my enemies. Your banner over me, sing. Oh, be lifted above all other gods. We lay your crowns and worship. Oh, be lifted above all the gods. We lay our crowns and worship. Oh, be lifted above every other god. We lay our crowns. Somebody shout Jesus Hey, hey. Oh, believe that. We lay, we lay, we lay, we lay, we lay your crowns. We worship you, Lord. believe Upon every other castle, we lay our crown and we worship. Take it off. 
Glory Oh, glorious God. We praise your holy name. We lay, we lay, we lay your wood crowns, Lord. God. We praise your name. We lay. Somebody shout Jesus. We pray. One more time. One more time. Come on. When you see me dance, oh, I dance like a wind of man. Oh, yeah, when you see me dance, I dance like a wind of man. When you hear me shout, I shout. When you hear me shout, I shout. Oh, yeah. When you see me jump, I jump like a wind of men. Hop, 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 Somebody's crying. Who has the final say? Oh, yeah. Who has the final say? Sing Jehovah, hey, Jehovah, everybody, Jehovah, hey, Jehovah, 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 hey, Jehovah. This kind God, I don't know what it is. Okay, 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 ok
Lua no pano, é Lua e azul no pé E Jesus, ai, ai 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 Say, we are going We are going Yeah, we are going and appreciate God this morning. Just lift up your voice and tell the Almighty God how faithful he has been in your life. Can you lift up your voice and I worship this Almighty God. Let us give him the glory and the honor this morning. If God has been good to you, if God has been faithful, can we lift our voice together as a church and bless the name of the Lord. If God has sustained you and has gone ahead of you, can we lift our voice together and bless God, the one who was and needs to come. Can you lift up your voice wherever you are and say, God, thank you for my life. Thank you for my family. Thank you for my children. Can you lift up your voice where you are and say, Father, thank you for your mercy. The one that I knew every morning, we bless your name. We exalt you in the name of the Lord Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Please put your hands together for Jesus. Praise the Lord. Put your hands together for Jesus. If you are alive, can you put your hands together? If God has paid your life, can you put your hands together? If God has been your defender, can you put your hands together? If God has been good to you, can you lift up your voice and say, Thank you, Jehovah. Woo. Father, we bless your name. Ah, mention of this. Father, we bless your name. Mayeko Yabo Sunday. Thank you for your mercy, Jehovah. Thank you for being our strength. Thank you for being the one that look unto you. Thank you because you have not allowed the enemy to look unto you for shame. We say, be thou exalted in Jesus' name. Thank you for January. Thank you for February. Thank you for March. Thank you in advance for April. Thank you in advance for May. Thank you in advance for June. Thank you in advance for July. Thank you in advance for August. Thank you in advance for September. For all that you're going to do. We bless your name, oh God. We worship your name tonight. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Please put your, please put, uh, please pick up your Bible. We're just going to read one, two scriptures. Praise the Lord. I was thinking something yesterday that if you drink water, your throat is made for water. But have you seen that when you drink your water, the water enters into another throat? Have you seen how much you cough? And you see how life is so precious? You drink water, the normal water. It entered the wrong throat. Praise the Lord. Psalms 34, verse 1. I want us to bless the name of the Lord. If God has kept you, if God has been your defender, if you are there, can you please say amen? amen. He says, I'll bless the Lord all times. His praise shall continuously be in my mouth. Praise the Lord. My soul shall make boast of the Lord. 
Thy humble shall hear therefore and be glad. So if God has been good to you, if God has been consistent in your life, if God has been faithful, if God has been your defender, can you bless the name of the Lord this morning? Can you say, Father, thank you for your mercy. Thank you for your grace. Thank you for being my shield. Thank you for being my protector. Can you lift up your voice and bless the name of the Lord? Lord, we thank you this morning. Lord, we bless your name. You are God and our Father. We give you glory this morning. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name. We're praying. Now, I want you to put your hand together for Jesus and put your hand together for God. It's not for me. It's for the Almighty God. Please have your seats in the presence of the Almighty God in Jesus' name. You're welcome to the wonderful program of today where it's hosted by the young people. And uh, I, like I said the last time, I said, please don't be shocked when you hear different words, you know, like cool and what's up. All those are part of our words. So please bear with us. And God will help us in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. So I want to welcome you to this program of today where all the young people and the, and the youth are hosting the program today. And I want to appreciate the leadership of Open Heavens Assembly, our Father, and our Lord, uh, our Father in the Lord and also our Mother. Can I put our hands together for them and thank God for their life as well in the name of Jesus. It's going to be us today. Somebody said, if you can touch your toes, you are less than, you are youth. Amen. Praise the Lord. So I want to throw a challenge. Can we stand all of us together? Praise the Lord. Hey, if you can touch your toes, <laughs> you, you fall part of us. Can we do it at one, two, go? One, two, go. Can you touch your toes? Can you do it the last time? Hey, so all of us are what? Thank you so much. Please have your seats in the presence of Almighty God. All of us are you too. All of us are you too. Uh, can't be saying me, I'm old, I'm old. I'm, I'm, there's no such thing. All of us are youth here. If you can touch your toes like today, you are youth. Amen. So the next time we call a meeting, please join us. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. All right. We want to take this time to appreciate everybody. Whatever you're watching us around the world, we want to thank the Almighty God for your life as well. As you continue to watch, the Almighty God will bless you in Jesus' name. You are welcome to today's program. And I pray that as you sit to listen to the Almighty God, whatever we're going to do today, I pray that God will minister to you and minister to your life in the name of Jesus. Now, I also want to recognize that I hear for the very first time, you are a VIP. Amen. You are the one that we have taken that special dish and that special spoon. We want to treat you like that. So if this is your first time, we'd like you to stand so that we can recognize you. Is there anybody here who's here for the first time? Ha! Let's put our hands together for Jesus. Hallelujah. Yeah, first time. I, I've never seen this brother and this sister here. Hallelujah. Amen. All right. Welcome uh, in the name praise the Lord. Of the Lord. All right, please stand, my brother. Please stand quickly. You I will are take welcome in the name of the Lord. Let's shake hands. Let's shake our hands. Let's welcome them. Let's welcome them. The Let's welcome them. The Let's welcome them. The Let's welcome them. You are welcome yes. in the name of the Lord. My brothers, you are welcome to Open Heavens Assembly under the Redeemed Christian Church of God. It's always a blessing to have you. And we thank God that you came. And I thank God that you came today where the youth are hosting. We want to show you how we do things. Amen. So that you can be blessed as well. Amen. So the card that you've been given, please, we want you to fill it for us. We want to be able to keep your details so that we can keep in contact with you. And after the service, please remain seated. Somebody will be there to talk to you and just to get to know you better in the name of Jesus. Amen. Praise the Lord. Please have your seats. Hallelujah. Let's clap for them in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. All right. We're not going to waste any time. We're going to enter into our program. So the first event that we're going to have, we're going to have Sister Faith in Gossi. Now, Sister Faith Gossi uh, is going to be a blessing unto us. God has given us the, give her the grace to be able to play uh, music. So she's going to be the next person that is coming up. Praise the Lord. If she's ready, I need her to be ready. Praise the Lord. As she's coming forth, we're going to have a hymn. And after that, we'll continue the program. Can we put our hands together as she comes? Is she here? She's here. Amen. You can do better. Hallelujah. She's here. She's here. She's here. Hallelujah. Amen. All right. You see, she dressed like a Zulu. <laughs> Amen. All right. So over to you, my sister. I think this is your, this is your family place. You can give us the Zulu version as well, if you want. <laughs> All right. I think this is the one. All right. Um, could I please have my brother on stage? Um, my brother's name is Kriflo. Everyone, please welcome him. Hey, the brother, man.
Good morning, church. Can I get a hallelujah? Um, today I will be performing a song called You Say by Lauren Daigle. And I will be performing my songs as well after this. Thank you for your patience. Everybody, um, I am going to be performing uh, my songs from a new album that I've released last month. Um, the name of the album is called Teach Me to Pray. So this album is about how we go on a journey to know the Lord and how we need to discover ourselves in his love, his care, his abundance, his righteousness. And I want to invite you all to please praise and worship the Lord with me. Thank you.
Jesus, my Redeemer, my sanctuary, the rock of my salvation, protect me, O Lord. Jesus, my Redeemer, my sanctuary, the rock of my salvation, protect me, O Lord. When my enemies come, Lord, carry me with your wings. Let them find no one. Fly with me, O Lord. Hide me under your shelter. Let them find no one. Keep me safe, O Lord, for you are my refuge. Jesus, my Redeemer, my sanctuary. The rock of my salvation, protect me, O Lord. Jesus, my Redeemer, my sanctuary. The rock of my salvation, protect me, O Lord. My enemies will not be my sanctuary. The rock of my salvation, protect me, O Lord. Jesus, my Redeemer, my sanctuary, the rock of my salvation, protect me, O Lord. Manging a panty, where Santa Saco, on his Yenzi tanto yako ongami isimo nesita azisena manja moba sengi na weko ifikele peli mangi tali wezi tugu uyangi figela. Jesus, my Redeemer, my sanctuary, the rock of my salvation, protect me, O oh Lord. Jesus, my Redeemer, my sanctuary, the rock of my salvation, protect me, O Lord. Power in 
It's working in me, His glory in me, it's shining through me. With the fire of God, it's working in me, His glory in me, it's shining through me. wonderful can we just jam our hands together for fist of faith hallelujah amen god bless you sister amen shall we be upstanding as we take our hymn this morning <laughs> that was wonderful <laughs> immortal invincible god almighty <laughs> God only wants in light, assessing, bullet 
form us most blessed most glorious the ancient of days almighty victorious the great name we No want, no wasting, thou rulest in mind. By your seas like mountains, I soar in above. Thy clouds reach our fountains, all goodness and Thou givest to both great and small In all life Thou givest the true life of all We blossom and flourish As leaves on the tree And we die and perish But not change and be Of glory, pure Father of God, Thy angels adore of Elias. Oh, 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 praise we would render, oh, help us to see. the Lord. Put your hands together for Jesus. It's not for me. It's for God. It's not for me. It's for God. The one that has spared your life to today. Hallelujah. It's not for me. Praise the Lord. By the grace of God, we've reshuffled some things. So uh, I know we were supposed to have uh, the offering, but we'll have a Bible quiz. And in this Bible quiz, uh, we're going to have people that are going to be sitting and then we're going to have a panel. I'm part of that panel. I thank God. Amen. Oh. So I'm part of that panel. Amen. So I'd like to ask, they're bringing the table. And then I want to ask uh, those contentant to come forth. If you are part of that group, we ask you to be able to stand. You're going to join us in front here. You're going to ask the question. We're going to be asking a question. Amen. Can we get our, our people that are, are going to participate? Hallelujah. Can we get them? Sister, can we put our hands together and say, come. Sister, brother, please come. Why are you shy? Hallelujah. Amen. So, we want to see whether when we are teaching on Sunday, people are listening. I want to see today. Mommy, daddy, want to see today whether people are listening, whether they hear. We are, today is a testing match today. Yeah. Hallelujah. So, you sit this side. Hallelujah. Uh -huh. I said today, not today, oh. Not today, not today. Huh. You, you need to face, you need to face the church. Okay, so, church, please, you help us. Uh, these questions here, they is from a redemption camp, apparently. It's been sent there. I'm joking. Praise the Lord. <laughs> but these are the questions we have here. So we've got our people here that will be help us to answer the questions that are here. I've got my sister here, uh, even though she looks serious, but she will help us to solve this matter. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Now, thank you so much for joining us. Uh, I, I hope you are prepared. Uh, so we'll ask. There's no favor. Like I said, this question, we didn't draft it. They sent it. They sent it from Lagos to here. So we're just following. Amen. Praise the Lord. <laughs> okay. We've got lesson... 12, we've got lesson 17, and we also got lesson 19. Okay, so you've been given assignment to go, so we don't have a lot of time. So we just get straight to it. We've got six questions for lesson 12, we've got six questions for les lesson 17, and we've got also 
uh, six question for uh, lesson 19. So we're going to start with uh, lesson 12, which was a topic that says pleasing God. All right? So we're going to ask you to pick a question from here. The full mark is five marks. Am I correct, man? And then the half mark, because we want to exercise grace, we're giving you two marks. Amen. All right. So we want you to pick a question from one to six. And then from there, 60 seconds. We've got 60 seconds, six, uh, 60 seconds to answer. So from one to six, we'd like you to choose a question, and then we'll be able to ask you the question. So from one to six, Sister Wiela, which one are you taking? You're taking question two. Okay. The question two says, what does it mean to please God? What does it mean to please God? According to that teaching of that day. Yes. Is it on? Amen. Yes. To please God, when you want to please God, you have to give thanksgiving. You have to dance in the Lord to the Lord. Okay. You have to clap your hands. Okay. You have to help others who oh. need help. Okay. You have to pray. Okay. To show that you are pleasing God. Thank okay. you. Uh, how many did you give us? Five. You said I must give five. No, I'm asking one question. How many answers did you give us? <laughs> I didn't count. Oh, you didn't count. Oh, praise the Lord. But I know that she's correct. You know, so we'll give her that five. Can we clap hands for her? Uh -huh. She's correct. We'll give her that. And then, please, because of time, we just go ask you three, three, three. We don't have a lot of time. Please, Sister Suku, choose a question. Uh, question five. Question five. Does living by flesh pleases God? Uh, living by flesh doesn't please God. We are ought to live by the Spirit, to walk by the Spirit, because we are spirits. Okay. Yes. All right. She's correct. Let's, let's give it to her. Let's put our hands together for She's correct. We live by the Spirit of God. Okay. My brother, please pick a question quickly. Question number one. Question number one. Hey, now what for you? Now what for you? What is the memory verse of that of this lesson, lesson twelve? Okay, the memory verse for lesson twelve is First Thessalonians chapter four verse one, yeah. which says, "Furthermore, that we beseech you, brethren, we beseech you, brethren, and exhort you by the Lord Jesus, mm -hmm. that as ye receive from us, mm -hmm. as are ye ought to walk and mm -hmm. to please." And to please God. Mm. So. You're correct. You're correct. You are right. You are right. You are there. You are there. You are there. I say you ought to. So. You are there. Relax. You are there. Relax. Relax. You are there. You are re relax. You are there. Just the last two. And then you are correct. <laughs> All right. Let's clap our hands for him. All right. But yeah. We'll give, him, we'll give you three because you are almost 80 to 90% correct. So we'll give you three. Praise the Lord. Let's put our hands together for them. All right. Let's, be, let's quickly move to lesson, lesson 17, which or the topic was a lying tongue. My sister, please pick a question. A lying tongue. Lesson 17. From one to six. It's like one to six. Uh -huh. choose, choose any number. Number five. Number five. Okay, it says, is telling the truth a good thing as a child of God, and why? Is telling the truth a good thing as a child of God, and why? The answer is yes. Why? It's a good thing to tell the truth as a child of God. Okay, there's a why there. <laughs> there's a why. And like I said, this question I didn't... Uh, put them together, they send them. So I'm just reading. Uh, there's a why there. Why? To grow in godliness. To grow in godliness. She's correct. Praise the Lord. She's correct. God's Praise command. the Lord. To grow in godliness. All right. Okay. Uh, quickly, Sister Suku, choose a question. Question three. Question three. What does the Bible say about liars? Provide Bible verse for it. I said it. I said it's me. No, I didn't conduct it. They just gave me. I'm just reading. Am I correct, ma'am? <laughs> okay. 
I would first provide the verse, but I can't remember which verse it is, but it speaks about a liar is better than, um, a, it's be, a, a poor man is better than a liar, irregardless of the poor man's uh, achievements. Can we, can we find it? Yes. Is, is she correct? It's uh, in uh, Proverbs. It's in Proverbs? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Ma, so what do you think? Do, you, do we give her how much? Because... If we open now, we'll, you know, time is going to go. We are depending on you. It's in trouble. She's correct. Okay, let's clap for her. She's correct. Praise the Lord. Hey, Stasunku. You are very close, eh? Uh -huh. All right. So, I think she's finished her question, eh? So, we can move to our brother here quickly because of time. Pick a number. Number, let me see number four. Number four. Mention things believers can do to avoid lying. I have mentioned, it could be one, it could be two. Mention things that believers can do to avoid this thing, very difficult thing of telling lies. Okay, number one, okay. a believer must, like, he must, like, as the Bible says, it says, uh, he must not be, he must not speak much. He must not be mm. that type of person that he speak much, yes. but you should speak a little. Mm. Then uh, number two is that um, you must you must know what you are saying at each point in time. You should not just talk because you fear us to to talk. Yes. At each point in time. Yeah, it's correct. The Bible warns us about talking too much because from there you'll be able to tell a lie. Okay. The last lesson talks about uh, the topic was gratitude. My sister, choose a question. Gratitude. Question three. Question three. What is the danger of ingratitude? Give Bible verse for it. Huh. Is it too, it's too strong? It's too strong. It's too strong. Okay, let's, let's stop from what does the Bible say about ingratitude. Let's stop there. Ingratitude. Not being grateful. What does the Bible say about it? Gratitude is to... It's, okay. Gratitude is to show thanks. It's to show thanks. Okay. It talks about danger. Like what is what is the most difficult thing or the dangerous thing for no, for, for a person not to be grateful or to show gratitude? The danger that is there. What will happen to the, such person? Okay. All right. Stasuku. Uh, we, we will not ask you a question. We'll hold you. We'll hold you because of time. So, uh, so could, let's ask you a question. We'll come. You think for it. All right. Okay. Question one. Question one. Hmm. Memory verse of this lesson. Lesson uh, 19, gratitude. Memory verse. Ah. <laughs> and I know you're in church that day. <laughs> okay. So you want to pick question, another one yeah, quickly? Question six. Okay. Let's start with question six. Should gratitude become our daily lifestyle and why? Yes, we should live a life of gratitude so that to provoke God to do even more okay. and to also seal our blessings. Because when we are grateful to God, we do not lose our testimony. Ah, let's clap for her. She's correct. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Okay, my brother, you are the last one. And because of time, the results will be able to get it after we finish here because of time. Please pick a number. Number six has already been picked. Question one. Question one is the same one that uh, talks about the memory verse. Can you can you do the memory verse? Uh, <laughs> all right. Okay, put another one between two and five. 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 How can we teach or show people the importance of gratitude? Yeah. How can we show people? Yeah, we can sh show people the importance of. Uh, the importance of gratitude. How can we teach or show people the importance of gratitude or being grateful? How can we do this? Yeah, we can uh, do this by by always being thankful to God. Okay. Yeah, based on what he maybe on what he has done in our lives. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we can show gratitude to God by for who he is. Yeah, in, in our, our lives. lives. Okay. All right. That's correct. Let's put our hands together for it. We need to show gratitude because of what God has done for us. Unfortunately, we are out of time. We have to keep to time so we don't waste time. Amen. I want to thank you so much for coming. 
we're going to be able to give you the results. Uh, I don't know the price. Uh, uh, should we give now? Uh, is there a price? I heard there's uh, KFC or some language or something. <laughs> Oh, we'll give later. Okay, they said there's something, but I'm not promising. Let's put our hands together for them. <laughs> All right. Praise the Lord. Thank you so much. God bless you. Thank you so much. Hallelujah. Let's keep as they go for it, as they go to their seats. Hallelujah. All right. Quickly, because of time, I would like to call Sister Suku, the one who was doing well here. She's going to be taking tithe and offering for us. Amen. Hallelujah. Let's put our hands together as she comes. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Are you excited to be in the house of the Lord? I am excited. <laughs> it's time for tithes and offering. This is the time where we prove ourselves how much we love God. Because this is the time where it's between you and God. Between you and your, between God and and your pocket. <laughs> it's not the time whereby, like when you are in church, you are praising and worshiping, we see you. But in the pocket, what do you do for God? Thank you. Our memory, our um, scripture for the tithe and offering, we take it from Proverbs 3, verse 9. Honor the Lord with your wealth, with the first fruits of all your crops, then your barns will be filled to overflowing and your vats will brim over with new wine. I would like to call out the tithers in the house. Are, any, are there any tithers in the house? Please dance forward. Mohadi. Merci, Ia, de la boya, oh, ala, de la oh, You can raise up your tithe to God and ask him whatever you wish him to do for you. In Jesus' name we have prayed. You may drop your tithe. King of kings and Lord of lords, we thank you for the titles in your house. We pray that in the name of the Lord Jesus, according to your promise, that the windows of heaven will be opened to grant unto them a blessing that they will not have room to receive in the mighty name of Jesus. Father Lord, we ask that you bless the remaining 90%. They will not use it for sickness. They will not put it in basket full of holes. Father, your name shall be glorified in the finances of your people. To your praise and to your glory. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. It is time for offering. May we rise up and give our offering to God. Hallelujah. Mohadi Messia Tela Boya O Allah Mohadi Messia Tela Boya Oh, 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 oh,
Doesn't matter what the people say Doesn't matter what the eyes may see Lord, you are so good You are worthy of all our praise Lord, you are so good You are exalted as a Lord Lord, you are so good Lord, you are so good You are worthy of all our praise Praise You are exalted. Sing, oh, what a wonderful, wonderful day. Day I will never forget. After I wandered in darkness away, Jesus, my Savior, I met. Oh, what a tender, compassionate friend. Keep the face of my heart. Shadows dispelling with joy. I'm telling the maze of the darkness. Heavens can now see, heavens can now and glory be. Come on! Hey! While at the cross, my Savior be beyond. My sins, my sins are washed away. In my night, oh, Saturday. Heaven's come down and glory. Ba 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 oh ba ba loke. The Lord in the eye. In the beginning, we are not Jehovah, oh, 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 to all the viewers watching us online our banking details are displayed on the screen of your uh, monitors or television let us pray. Thank you, Lord, for this opportunity to give into your house for the advancement of your kingdom. Lord, as we have honored your way to advance your kingdom, may you please advance our lives. Bless those who could not give in one way or another. By the reason of this offering, let anyone who is seeking employment, may you bless them with a miracle call this week. In the name of Jesus, those whom their businesses are sinking, Father, give them business this week in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord. We cover this offering in the precious blood of Jesus Christ. Bless everyone who has given. Bless everyone who has danced to you, Lord. In Jesus Christ's mighty name we pray. Amen. Praise the Lord. Are they used to the house this morning? Praise the Lord. I can't hear you. Why are you praising your God sitting down? I want you to jump on your feet 
and give him the loudest hallelujah. Somebody praise the Lord. Yeah. Hallelujah. Amen. This morning we'll have um we have a newly promoted teenagers into the youth department. Can we just cover our hands and give God praise? Hallelujah. Amen. So like two weeks ago, we, we have um, some new teenagers joined us. So today, they will be um, um, performing for us an activity called Sword Drill. It's a Bible opening uh, presentation. Hallelujah. So I'm going to call on our new youth. Just line up. We have Kishi, we have Ruth, we have Chichi, we have George, we have Adasa, we have Mordecai. Just line up and come and bless us with your Bible skills this morning. Let's clap our hands as they come forward. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Just line up this way. Hallelujah. Amen. You can see everybody with their swords. They have their swords in their hands. Hallelujah. You can give yourself a bit of space. A bit of space. Thank you. Thank you. Move forward a bit. Don't be shy. Why shy? Are you shy? <laughs> Hallelujah. So this is how it goes. It's sword drill. Um, the Bible is our sword as a believer. So we'll be calling a Bible verse for them. They'll be on attention. They will draw their sword. And they would, the first person to open qualifies. The second person to open reads out. You read it out, you qualify. The last person or the person who is unable to open the Bible the verse is disqualified. Are we good? Can we go? All right. Hallelujah. Come on, put your hands together for them, everybody. Hallelujah. It's not easy to stand here, eh? <laughs> Amen. Attention. You're not standing at attention, guys. Attention. Hallelujah. Draw your swords. And place your hand on your sword. Are you ready? Second Corinthians. Wait, 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 wait. So you only open your Bible when I say search. So once I say search, you open. So you listen to the Bible verse. When I say search, you open your Bible. I'm going to change that verse now. Hallelujah. Attention. Draw your sword. 2 Corinthians 5.17 Sister Ruth. 2 Corinthians 5, 17. Search. You find it, you read it. Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, the new creation has come. Thank you. 2 Corinthians 5, 17. Anyone who is no longer in, anyone who is joined in Christ is a new being. The old is gone, the new. Thank you. I need just one more person. You don't help. <laughs> Praise the Lord. To make it quicker, you are both disqualified. Thank you. Bye bye. He actually doesn't have a complete Bible. Amen. Hallelujah. So let me repeat the rules again. Don't open until I say search. 
And if you found the Bible, don't wait for the microphone, just to read it. So the last person to read, or the one who is unable to open the verse, is out. Are we good? Thank you. Attention. Draw your sword. First Peter chapter 5, verse 5. Search. Praise the Lord. Come on, clap for them. Sister Adessa, thank you for coming. <laughs> Hallelujah. Please, I won't repeat the verse. Listen very well. And wait for search before you open. Hallelujah. Attention. Draw your sword. Leviticus 19, verse 32. Wait, wait, wait. I said search. I would say search, then you search. Leviticus, Attention. Draw your sword. Leviticus 19, verse 32. Search. Ooh. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Sister Chichi, for coming. Hallelujah. Now I have to look for a more difficult Bible verse for you, too. Amen. Attention. Draw your sword. Draw your sword. Job 33, verse 25. Search. Can you hear me? What did I say? I said Job 33. Okay. Attention. <laughs> Attention. Draw your sword. Job 33, verse 25. Search. Come on, look, put your hands together. Read, read, read. I'm not sure. Grow young and strong again. Job, 20, Job 33, 25. Your bodies will grow young and strong again. Come on, clap your hands for Sister Kishi. Thank you so much. Let's put our hands together for them. Thank you, Sister Ruth. Sister Kishi is our winner for the day. Your hands, everybody. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. That was wonderful. Eh? Amen. Hallelujah. Can we just clap our hands one more time? Amen. Before we go into the next um, item, which is supposed to be drama, we would have the teenagers quickly. Are the teenagers ready? They have a song presentation for us. All right, the teenagers are not ready yet. The drama group. Do we have the drama ready? Hallelujah. Do we have the drama group ready?
Oh, the teenagers are here right now. Okay. Can we have the teenagers quickly? Let's clap our hands as they come forward. Thank you, thank you. Walk like youths, guys. Walk like youths. You're very young.
Now God bless you in the name of Jesus. Thank you so much. You've been wonderful. We'd like to quickly move on. Uh, we'd like to have the drama. The drama, please. The people for drama, please get ready. I think they're at the back. And their administration will be appointed for greater works. Amen. Can we put our hands together as the drama people are coming? They are here. They are coming. They'll give us a great performance. Praise the Lord. Amen. Dockers. Dockers. Joy. Where are you? Come. Where is Dockers? Sit down. Where have you been? I've been calling you. All right. My daughters. Yes, Father. I call you today and I want to explain some certain things to you. Please be very serious with your life. You see, this life is full of crises. But today, I want to appoint you for a greater work. You will go out there. And be very serious with your life. I have so many experience. Hmm. But today, I want to give you something. Open to the book of Joshua, chapter 1, verse 8. Dockers, open, open, open. I don't have time. Joshua, chapter 1, verse 8. Are you there? That is what I've been telling you. If you are there, read. Joshua chapter 1 verse 8. And I want Dockers to read it because you are looking for this Old Testament. No, let her read. Read. Joshua 1 8. Mm -hmm. This book of law shall not depart out of thy mouth. Mm -hmm. But thou shalt meditate therein day and mm, night. Mm, mm. Thou mayest observe to do according to all it is written therein. Mm -hmm. For then thou shalt make thy way prosperous. Mm -hmm. And then thou shalt give good success. All right. Good. The reason why I gave you this Bible is because... I want it to be your guide. Our guide. Yes. Why is it you are telling us all these things? Hmm. You will know. 
This is your guide. Okay, sir. Meditate day, in, day and night. Please, be very careful in the world. The reason why I'm telling you this is because I'm going for a journey. What? I'm, I'm traveling. No. So we are exactly, Daddy. Don't worry. But I'm assured you that I will be back. I don't know yet. But I will be back. I will be back. Be watchful. Be careful. Take that thing that I gave to you as your guide. And you will prosper. Yes, sir. I'm traveling. Okay, sir. Okay. I will be back. Okay, daddy. Bye bye, sir. Go well, daddy. I will be back. Go well, daddy. Have a safe journey, sir. Thank you. <laughs> this man is joking. Though. No. What do you mean? Where is he going? But he said he will be back. Okay. Don't you believe what he has been teaching us all this while? I believe. Yes. He will be back. He'll we'll be wait. back. I believe he'll be back. All right. Yes. No problem. Yeah, I want to go and look for something to do. Uh, Dorcas, where are you going to? I'm going out. To where? Anywhere. After all, our father has taught us. Ah, this girl. Ah, Lord, please help me. Help me so that I don't fall into the world, just as my father has taught me. Please help me, Lord. You know what? I'm angry. What is the problem? As, as I'm, I'm going back to what? where you called us for that meeting. I'm going there to drop this thing. Why, my sister? Don't do this. Don't disturb me. Where are you going to? You can't tell me what to do. Ah, sister Dorcas. When he comes back, where are you going to? He can't come go and to the take world. his guide. How will you survive in the world? I can guide myself. Ah, Am I not the owner of my life? This, sister Dorcas. Don't call me. I'm in the world, but I'm not of the world. Help me, Father, to fulfill my destiny. Help me, Lord. Oh, please help my sister. I don't know why she left what our father gave us. He said this is our guide, that all we need is in this Bible. But she left hers. Help us, Lord. Help her. Help me, Lord. Help me, Father. I don't want to miss heaven. I do not want to fail you, Lord. I don't want to be a disappointment to your kingdom. Please help me. Help me, my Father. Help me, Lord. Help me, Jesus. Help me. Joy. Uh, <laughs> my sister. How are you? You are here. I'm fine. How ha, are you? you are here? Yes. <laughs> I'm you are still with your guide. I'm reading my Bible. <laughs> hey. Where have you been? You are just here wasting away. What do you mean? You are here wasting away. How? I've come to share the good news with you. You have a good news? I've got a good news. Please tell me what happened. <laughs> you want to hear? I want to now hear. you want to hear. Uh, of course, your sisters, you can tell me what the Lord has done. I'll tell you. Yes, what happened? I've gotten a job. Really? I have gotten a job. Are Imagine you? a graduate like me. Are you serious? I've been wasting away. How many decades now? Your daddy but said he's coming. He will come. You know I he will know come. he will come. Yes. He will come. Which company has Keep you? begging me for money. You will beg. Which company has As I a matter of fact, share yeah? your good news with me now. You want to know about the I company? Want to hear you. So I can it's not even you. a company. Number one, let me tell you the good news. What is the good news? I got a that? job. Yes. Number two, mm -hmm. if you also want to join, mm -hmm. my manager said there's still a space. Are you serious? Yes. What kind of job is that? Are you going to do it? Uh, tell me, let us hear the good news now. It's telling me, my sister. I got a job in a tavern. Uh -uh. Tavern? A child of God like you? Uh -uh. Uh -uh. Sister, so don't A child of God must go hungry. My sister. I must have. What are you doing there? I'll be serving beers. Serving beers? Do you know how much I made just within an hour? Uh -uh. Can't 
I made 10,000 within an hour. My sister. So would that money fly from heaven? Or is the money kept in the guide? How can you send yourself to the devil? You're a child of God. Do you forget what our father has taught us? It's fine, no problem. He said we should hold this book. That all we need is in this book. I agree with you. My sister. I agree with you and I've been using it. Hey, but is it not working? We can still wait more, still be believing in the premises of God. It will come to pass. My dear, wait. Me, I'm going to work. Uh, you are going if to... you are interested, call me. God you have my number. I can't do that kind of a job. I believe my father and I know that the Lord will come through for me. Yes. At the appointed time, all I need, he will do for me. I believe. You're back. Welcome. Talk it's a yourself. pity. That you cannot just wait a minute. Mm. Wait up for who? Mm. You can't stand out. Mm -hmm. What a pity. And I'm highly disappointed in you, Dockers. You can't even remember the daughter of whom you are. Mm -hmm. What a shameless life. What a shameless life. Hmm. That's right. All of you, you got a reward. <laughs> I have my reward here. Yes, Father. Get out of here! Get out of here! That's your reward. Mm. Useless belly. Mm. Congratulations, Joy. Thank you, Father. Thank you, you waited. Yes, Father. God bless you. Thank you, Father. This is your reward. Thank you, Father. I know you will return. Continue to press forward. Thank you, Father. Continue to go and do exploit. Thank you, Father. And your future is guaranteed. Amen. Congratulations. Thank you, Father. Congratulations. Thank you. To the youth out there, we just want to encourage you today that whatever you stand for, make sure you stand very well. The Lord Almighty will bless you in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Can we just clap our hands for the drama group? That was wonderful. Hallelujah. Amen. Without further ado, we're going straight to instrumentals um, before we welcome our guest, guest uh, minister for today. Hallelujah. So, we we'll wait for the choir to lead us in instrumentals. May you be blessed in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you. 
Master Jesus, today is our day. I just want you to be ready to receive from the Lord. Our God has everything for us today. Just being expectant today, you will surely receive from God in Jesus' name. Before I go through the sermon, because of time, we don't have much time. I just want to sing a song before I go through. I want us to worship God a bit. But uh, 
instrumentalist, please. Let me do it alone. Thank you, Jesus. Amamo, amasi, amasi. Amamo, amasi, amasi. Amamo, amasi, amasi. Eze Jesus, one Mary. There is no one that can worship God for me. There is no one that can worship God for you. I came myself to worship by myself. I came myself to worship by myself. Brother, you can do something for God. You can meditate. You can ask God whatever you want God to do. Please, those online, please join us. Stay tuned with us. The Almighty God is ready if you are ready. In the mighty name of Jesus. Heavenly Father, you and your children are waiting now. Father, please don't pass us by. We are expecting. Our heart is yearning. We are believing and trusting, knowing fully where the time like this will come. Father, please meet us in the point of our knees. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Can we be, on, be seated? Daddy, I greet you. Mommy, I greet you. Thank you for this platform, this opportunity that you are giving to me is an awesome. I will never take it for granted. Even if I spend five minutes, uh, I will still appreciate God for that. Indeed, it's a privilege. God bless you, sir. God bless you, ma. Thank you. My name is Brother Patrick. I'm one of your brother. I'm your own. I love Christ. Thank you, Father. Let somebody open with me in the book of John chapter 14. The book of John chapter 14, verse 12. John chapter 14, verse 12. I'm rushing quickly because of our time. I want us to do it sharp, sharp, sharp. John chapter 14, verse 12. We have a lot of things to do, but because of time. The Bible says, Verily, verily, I say unto you, He that believeth on me. I want you to mark that word. The believers we are talking about, you and I. He said, He that believeth on me, the work that I do, he do also. And the greater works than this, shall he do because I go unto my father. The greater work. And he brought us to the topic we call appointed for the greater work. All of us know what Jesus has do. He healed all manner of sicknesses. He opened blind eyes. He does a lot. Which you and I as witness in one way or the other. Jesus has also raised the dead. When you look in the book of John chapter 11, you go and read. Book of John chapter 11. And I believe that after today, you begin to do greater work in Jesus' name. Amen. Because you are appointed. Jesus also fasted for 40 days and 40 nights. And also, I want us to know, carry it in the light of God's word. There is no one can appoint you if you don't merit or don't reach the requirement, it's a process. You, I can tell you, it's a process. You can't just jump and be appointed for something. Someone must look into your life, believe in you, trust in you, knowing that you have capacity, ability to do it. It can't just come that, like that. 
And our God can never, he's someone that can never make that mistake. He do it in the life of Peter. When he met Peter, you can see today, all today that I've been reading the book of Luke chapter 5. And where he met Peter, and he didn't stop there. He kept on monitoring him. And when he reached, when the verse 10 of that, he find out that he said, Peter, upon this rock, Peter, and let me see, in the Matthew chapter 16, verse 18, there is something God did there. He said, upon thee, I will build my rock. I will build my church. And gate of hell will never prevail. That is the reason why God is looking for those that he will hand over that, that key over. The people that will continue to carry this gospel along. That's why you met Peter and you find out the, all the blessings Peter has get from him. But let me run quickly because of the time I want to touch one or two things. Number one, consecration of the body as a youth. What do I mean? Keeping yourself for the Lord. That is most important. If you are a vessel for God to use, you must be purified. You must be holy. You will not go corner, corner ways. Because our God is holy. I want us to understand that the foundation of God stands sure. In the book of 1 Timothy, Chapter 2, verse 19. First Timothy chapter 2, verse 19. He said, nevertheless, my foundation stands sure. He said, this I've sealed. The Lord knows his people. That those that name the name of the Lord should depart from iniquity. Praise the Lord. I want us to know that. Keep on believing and keep on understanding what God is calling you for. You know, these days it's, fine, it's very, very difficult for you and I, people to keep themselves. Sometimes he met people, he said, this is my life. This is my body. Don't tell me what to do. And you're a youth. And you want to do a great thing. Never. God can never do that. I have known God that is a prudent manager of his resources. Our God don't waste his resources. He can't place his resources in your life. Knowing fully well, you will waste it. Praise the Lord. And the, I want you also to know in the book of Roman, Roman chapter 12, verse 1, I say, I beseech you, brethren. He say, present yourself. Let me quote it off. He say, present yourself, your body as a living sacrifice. There is no way God can use you because our God dwells in us. He dwells in you and I. Praise the Lord. I run also because of our time. Another one again, number two, prayer. You engage yourself in prayer. You can see that Jesus Christ has also fasted for 40 years for that greater works. You can't do more than you must. You must follow his way. In the book of Isaiah chapter 40, verse uh, 29 to 31. Isaiah chapter 40, verse 29, verse to 20, the 31. He says that the, a long lion fails. Let us go there. Let us read this. Isaiah chapter 40. As a youth, please, I want you to keep this message because it's going to help you and I. Isaiah 40, 29. He said, he gave power to defend and to them that no might, he increased their strength. Even the youth shall faint, but be worried, and the young men shall utterly fail. You and I, that's what the Bible says. He said, but they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up their wings as an eagle and run and not be worried, and they shall walk and not faint. When you are engage yourself in the fasting, you engage yourself in a spiritual exercise. I never see anybody that going for wrestling or footballer that never go for training. If you want to do greater things for God, you keep his principle. There is a price to pay. Hallelujah. 
And last, lastly, number three, kingdom builders. We must be a kingdom builder, evangelizing, winning the souls. Know that no, there is no other way you can be appointed for greater works. If you are not a man or a woman, a child of God, that can never witness, can never stand to preaching the gospel, evangelizing, you are not qualified to the kingdom. There is, the Bible has made it clear, no one places his hand upon this plow that can look back, that will fit for the kingdom. If you want to be a child of God, be a child of God. And stand faithful to, to witness. Let your life be an episode for people to read. Don't begin to do things that God doesn't want. You know, sometimes we wanted to rush and become great. We wanted to become and doing great things without not going through the process. The kingdom of our Lord is not give and take. It's a work. If you don't work, you can never be recognized. Even some of us that doesn't have a work, if you went to, even you reach in your homes and everywhere, you find out that people doesn't, you don't count, your work doesn't count. Now you must be active worker in the house of God. I'm talking to the youth because of our time. Lastly, I, the, I want us to understand this. Ah, and that is where I wish all of us are waiting. You must be a born again. Jesus will not hand over the key over to you if he did not know you. You must personalize it, be a child of God. Be born again. The Bible says in the book of uh, John chapter 3, John chapter 3. You can follow me. Let us read it. John chapter 3, verse 3. John chapter 3. He said, Jesus answered and said unto him, Verily, verily, I say unto thee, except a man being born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. If you are a Christian and you are not a born again, when you hear the beginning of my introduction of the word, I see God talking about only believers. Some people can be a Christian, but they are not born again. Some people come to church day by day, but they are not born again. Some people even save a worker, but they are not born again. Some people come to church every day. Sunday school, they are there, sweeping the church like me. But they are not born again. God did not know them. And if you are not born again, there is no way God will trust in you. There is a lot of things that you can do to show. You can't tell me that you were born again, you can't forgive your brother. You can't tell me you were born again. And you can't love. You can't tell me you were born again. And you can't come to church and be walking in the vineyard of your father. What can God look into your life? I ask it as a question. I'm trusting you. We are looking for God to appoint us today. If you want to be appointed, there is a process. You must know there is a process. Give your life to Christ. Surrender to child unto him. Like our brother, when our teenagers was ministering, they find out when they uh, speak, uh, put the Bible, some of them fail to open even scriptures. Like or some of us. And when you look into the sum of the scripture, they quote, they quote first, Second Corinthians chapter 5, verse 17. He says, if any man be in Christ Jesus, all things pass away. And is the old things pass away from us. And we want to serve God. 
We want to do miracles. We want to lay hands on sick and they get healed. We want to do great mind. We want to raise debt. How can we do it? That is a price. Hallelujah. Are we together? The children of God, are we together? Please pardon us today because we are rushing because of our time. And we try to jump to mid time. But I want you to have something in back of your heart. That I will not live, uh, live here without no surrender my life totally unto God. If actually we want to do greater things. If you actually you are ready to do greater things for God. Please surrender today. If you never do it. I'm not going to call out a call. But I know God has highly anointed our father in the Lord. He's here for us. He has been praying. He's fasting about this program. Believe in. Keep on encouraging us. Let today be a day that you can remember in your life. Some of us have forget the day we give our life to Christ. I can easily tell you mine. If I, I, as I am, in 2005, in March, the same March I'm preaching on this altar, 20 by date, I say, Father, I have surrendered. Not that I never make a mistake. Not that I'm angel. Not that I'm perfect. Because Jesus has spoken to us. He said, anyone that wants to be fit for this kingdom must take his cross and follow me. And when you look into the life of Jesus, when you go into the cross, he has made it, he gets it right. He fall how many times? For show us that it's not easy for we to go there. You can make up your mind. Forget about that. When they say, ah, if you are become born again, you will no longer go into club, you're not going to have girlfriend or boyfriend, you're not going to do some certain things. No. When a one believes in God and trusted in God and put all his trust in God and they rely in the word of God as the drama as decree and he hear the, how the father left them with instruction. He said, this is your guide. If you can put your belief on that word of God, you can never lack. I have followed this God till now as I'm speaking to you. God never failed me. God never disappointed me. There's nothing I have ever asked God. He never do it for me. It's a matter of time. I will keep on reminding him. It's your time. Our daddy is ready. He's prepared. He can lay a hand. Or if you want to renew. If you want to be somewhere in life. If you want to make a change even in your family. As a small as I am, there are some decisions that we make in my family today. Someone will say, ah, have you contacted him? I don't have money, not money speaking. We are, there are some people, the word they use, is say money speaks. And no, I don't have money. This is not money speaking. But the grace of God over my life is still speaking. Can we be on our feet? As the eyes close. Those that are ready for daddy to pray for them. This man is a kingdom builder. He wants to transfer some anointing upon your life. He wants to release some unction in your life. If you, is, if you are willing today, please. This time, we may not have it. Yesterday, the, the, the robbers, they, they robbed me with gunshots. If it is not God. I'm not supposed to talking with you. If it is not God. Yesterday. Not yesterday is a Saturday. By this time actually. And God saved my life. The same God is ready to save your life now. If you are going to be willing. If you are ready. Our daddy is ready. As I'm welcoming him and giving the man. Thank you so much. God bless you. I live for Jesus. 
Day after day, I live for Jesus. Call what may, thy Holy Spirit, I will obey. I live for Jesus. Day after day. I want to thank God this afternoon for the word of God. The Bible says that the glory of the youth is their strength, that our strength will not diminish in the name of Jesus. One of the things the enemy attacks most is the strength of the youth. Spiritual strength, financial strength, all forms of strength to diminish them completely. And then you see the youth completely incapacitated. When it's time to show forth the glory of God, they are not able because the strength has been diminished. But I come in this day as a servant of God to ask that that strength is, 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 is decreed back in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus that the strength of the Lord is released upon you. In the name of Jesus. You know Job 33 verse 25 that he read, the youths when they came out here, they said, and his flesh grew back. And his day, the days of his youth came back. <laughs> that the days of your youth will come back in his fullness in the name of Jesus that everything you have not been able to do the Lord will cause you to do them again in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus that there is a visitation of the almighty God that everywhere where you have been diminished the Lord will strengthen it back again by his spirit in the name of Jesus one of the things that was mentioned here is that they've got to be a relationship with the almighty God. You know that your relationship with God will be robust. That your relationship with God will be real. In the name of Jesus. That the Lord will call you his own. In the name of Jesus. That the power of God is made visible in your life. In the name of Jesus. That the goodness and the mercy of the Lord. Is released upon you like never before. In the name of Jesus. And so shall it be. In the name of Jesus. I want us to lift up our hands this morning. Let's lift up our hands before the Almighty God. Lord, our hands are lifted up before you. You say the glory of the youth is their strength. Father, let our strength, O oh Lord God, let our strength be renewed completely in the name of Jesus. And let your glory be seen in our lives in the name of Jesus. Nothing broken, nothing taken, nothing lost. That the beauty of the Lord will be seen in his fullness in our life in the name of Jesus that we go forth to shine, to show forth the glory of the Lord like never before. And so shall it be in the name of Jesus. Every arrow that flies by day and those that fly by night, none will come to us in the name of Jesus. We are preserved. Our days are preserved in the name of Jesus. We move forward. Harm will not come to us. We will not get into harm in the name of Jesus. The beauty of the Lord will be released upon us. And so shall it be. Blood of Jesus avail for your children. And let your name forever be glorified. For in Jesus mighty name we we'll pray. Hallelujah to Jesus. Hallelujah to Jesus. Amen. I want to bless God for our youth. I know our time has been stretched. But brethren they have been preparing for about three weeks. And it will be very unreasonable for us just not to give them the space to be able to express themselves. Thank you for bearing with us. Thank you for our time. We don't normally close this late, but we just thought it's a special day for the youths. One more time, let's put our hands together for the youths. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> Praise the Lord. One of the things I did, I did not censor any of their program. I told them, plan your program, execute your program. You have my permission to execute the program fully. And they planned it themselves and they executed it themselves. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. One of the things we're also doing by exposing them to the altar is to make a covenant with them. And say these children, they will walk before the Almighty God. Amen. They will not look back. They will not turn back. They will not be lost in the world. And so shall it be in the name of Jesus. And the Lord says all our children are for signs and wonders. Amen. Every child the Lord has given you are for signs and wonders. Amen. And so shall it be. I decree it 
in the name of Jesus. And peradventure you don't have a child and you're asking, where will my own come? In this year, your own will come. It will not tarry in the name of Jesus. Because the mouth of the Lord has spoken that in our midst, we will have male and female children and none will be called barren. And so shall it be in the name of Jesus. The Lord bless you. The Lord cause his face to shine upon you and let it be well with you in the name of Jesus. Praise the Lord, church. Praise Master Jesus. Are we having fun in the presence of God? All right, uh, church, I'm going to indulge us. We're going to pray for our prayer uh, preacher for today. Let us pray for the preacher. In the name of Jesus, everlasting King of glory, eternal rock of ages, we thank you, Lord Jehovah, for your son that you have used this morning. We pray, Lord Jesus, every word that has proceeded out of his mouth, he shall find fulfillment in our lives. In the name of Jesus, as he has watered us, Lord Jehovah, water him in return. In the name of Jesus, for in Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Shall we sit? Shall we have a seat, please? Uh, while we listen to the following uh, announcements, praise the Lord, church. Join us as we fellowship today uh, together on Tuesday, 6 p.m. for Digging Deep, as we dig deeper into the Word of God, and on Thursday at 6 p.m. for Faith Clinic. Our Sunday service time remains the same at 9 a.m. Invite someone to church. Workers in training will be starting soon. Register with Dickin Shola if you have completed Believer's class. Also register with System A4 if you haven't done Believer's class. There will be children and teenagers camp meeting at Master's Place, Randbeck on 38th and 31st March. Registration fee is 300 rand. If you are interested, please kindly see Mommy Banji for registration. RCCGAC4 Subcontinent 2, South Africa Present Power Encounter. I thought someone is going to be excited. Praise the Lord. And the theme for the program is Let the Fire Fall. It's going to happen on Friday, this coming Friday, 29th March at Master's Place, Rambeck. Time is 7 p.m. Please kindly diarize. And the nine-week mother-daughter mentorship program of the Redeemed Christian Church of God Open Heaven Assembly continues. Please, if you have not yet been paired with a daughter or a mother, please kindly see Sister Chichi. Also, if you have not received your gift as a paired mother and daughter, also contact Sister Chichi. And believers class starts immediately after service. Please kindly wait upstairs. Uh, I'm going to call on the choir to give us the family song. Shall we be upstanding? We are redeemed. Together, Jesus is for us. We shall conquer. We are victorious. We are united in love. Oh, Jesus is for us. We shall conquer. We are covenant children. United in love. Oh, Jesus is for us. We shall conquer. We sing hallelujah. Hallelujah.
Jesus, eternal King of Kings, everlasting Father, we thank you for today. Holy Spirit, we thank you on how you have moved, been able to move in our midst today. Lord Jehovah, as we go this week, we go in your power. We shall return with testimonies. The greater work, the grace to do you, the greater works, you will give unto us in the name of Jesus. We shall be fit for God's use in the name of Jesus. Thank you, eternal rock of ages, for in Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Church, let's share the grace in unison. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit rest and abide with us now and forevermore. Amen. Surely, God's goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives, and we shall dwell in the presence of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Enjoy the rest of the day. waters that are wanting to drown you. The Lord is pulling you out of it right now in the name of Jesus. This is not an ordinary meeting. The atmosphere is different. Three gates preventing me from advancing shall be uprooted. Tell another one, say, neighbor, every demonic gate terrorizing my life shall be uprooted in the name of Jesus. Father, be a light unto my path and lamp unto my feet that I will be part of the righteousness in this nation.